Hi everyone, today I have a video all about numbers in English. First, I'm going to give you a little quiz so you can check your knowledge and then I'll show you how to say and write all kinds of numbers in English, including short numbers, long numbers, fractions, decimals, percents, numbers for age, money, addresses, phone numbers, and more. So let's get started. First, let's take that little quiz. For the first part, I'm going to say seven numbers, and for each one, I want you to listen carefully and write down what you hear. When we finish, we'll check our answers. Number one, 5,678. Number two, 27,868,709. Number three, 894,515. Number four, three billion four hundred sixty eight million seven hundred sixty eight thousand three hundred thirty. Number five, eight point seven five. Number six, seven point nine per cent. Number seven, two fifths. For the next part, we're going to do it the opposite way. I'm going to show you a number and I want you to write down exactly how you would say the number. For example, if I show you this number, you're going to write down 8.9. So let's check your answers. When you're saying numbers in English, you want to be sure to separate them into groups of three digits, add a comma to indicate thousands, millions, billions, trillions, and to be sure to say the number correctly. So if you have this number, 27,565,000, Seven hundred nine. You want to be sure that you add a comma to indicate where the thousands and hundreds are separate and then the same thing for separating the millions from the thousands. One important point with numbers is that we don't add an S to numbers. I know it seems strange but we don't add an S. So for the number five million we don't say five millions. We say five million. The same thing with thousands and hundreds, 300, we don't say three hundreds. The only exception to this is when we're talking about a general number, like if we don't know exactly how many, then we can say, for example, there are hundreds and hundreds of people here, or there are thousands of people who live in this neighborhood. We don't know how many thousand, but we know that there are many thousands. We can also say, for example, there are hundreds of thousands of new COVID cases every day. So again, that means that we don't know exactly how many. So in that case, we can add an S, but for 5 million or any specific number, we don't add S at the end. Also, notice that in the US, we use a decimal point, which is like a period, not a comma, to show numbers that are less than zero. So for example, in 7.9, we use a period, not a comma. Any number that is less than zero, we call those negative numbers. So for example, we can say negative 10. If we're talking about a temperature, we would say minus 10 degrees. Numbers that are written like this, 5 eighths, are called fractions. And in fractions, we have two numbers. We have the numerator on top and the denominator on the bottom. So for example, we say one third, one fourth, one fifth, one sixth, etc. If we have more than one on the top, then we make the bottom plural. Two thirds, three fourths, or five eighths, for example. 
However, for two and four, we can say those fractions as half and quarter. So for example, one half, one quarter, or three quarters. Uh, if I bake a cake, I can say that I need two and a half cups of flour and three quarters of a cup of sugar and two thirds of a cup of something else. Next, let's talk about numbers in phone numbers and addresses because these are always tricky. In the United States, your phone number consists of seven numbers and we put them into two groups, the first three numbers and then the second four numbers. And we separate them with a dash and when we say them, we pause in the middle. For example, 555-2378. So you can hear that I pause, 555-2378. We also have what's called an area code, and that's the code that shows the region that you live in. For example, in the city where I live, the area code is 916, and we put that at the beginning of the phone number in parentheses, or sometimes we just add it at the beginning of the number and then another dash. So be sure that when you give your phone number, you put the dashes there and that you pause when you say it. For addresses, we usually give the number in groups of two. For example, 45 Main Street, 465 Main Street, 4565 Main Street. So for the last one, we don't say 4000 blah blah blah. We would say 4565. And for zip codes, and a zip code is um, to show the area where you live, for the zip code, we say each number separately. For example, 96823. Next, for numbers in money and prices, we say the dollar and then the cents. For example, 199 or 589 or 1398. We also use the word bucks to refer to dollars, and we often use this in conversation. Um, We don't write this down, we would just use it when we're speaking, and we often use it for smaller numbers like two bucks or five bucks or can I borrow 10 bucks? We also use the word grand for thousand when we are talking about money, I don't know why. Uh, For example, we can say he makes 80 grand a year. For years, we say the years in groups of two numbers, like 2021, or I moved to Europe in 1996. My son was born in 2011. But for the 2000 years, um, for the first decade, we will usually say the whole number, like 2010. For example, my son was born in 2007 or in the year 2000, I got a new job. So for those first 10 years of the 2000s, we will often say 2000 blah blah, but for other years, we usually say it in groups of two, like 1975 or 2021. We also use decades to talk about periods of time. And to do this, we use the word the and an S at the end. For example, in the 1970s or in the 1990s. This is very common to talk about periods of time, but again, it's really important that you listen for the word the and the S at the end of the word. And that's important to note because if you're in school and your professor is talking about the 1950s, you need to know that that's a whole decade of 10 years. It's not 1950, it's 1950 all the way to 1959. Another important number is to show age. And we just say, for example, I'm 40 or I'm 35 or my son is 13. We can also use an S on the number to be more general. For example, my cousin is in her 20s. That means that she's somewhere between 20 and 29. So that would refer to the whole decade. And we can even be a little more specific by using the words early, mid, or late. For example, President Biden is in his late 70s. 
that means that he's somewhere between like 77 and 79. Maybe I don't know exactly how old he is, but I know he's in his late 70s. Um, we can say, for example, she is in her early 40s. She's in her mid 40s. She's in her late 40s. Or to just talk about the whole decade, we could say she is in her 40s. Finally, we use numbers to talk about grades or scores in school. And we often use it as a percent out of 100. So for example, you can say, I got a 95 on the test. And that means that I got 95 points out of a total of 100 possible points. And that's a 95%. Um, so in the US, a 95 is an A. And again, we say, I got a 95 on the test, or I got a 90, or I got an 85. You can also talk about points um, as a fraction. And for this, we would say, for example, I got 25 out of 30. That means that there were 30 possible points, but I got 25 points, or I had 25 correct, or I got an eight out of 10. So I hope this little video about numbers helped you. I find that numbers can often be tricky, but because numbers are so important, it's a good idea to know how to understand them and how to talk about them. If you have questions, please let me know. And as usual, I'm gonna leave a question for you to answer in the comments below to help you practice. Take care and see you soon.